Good day, it's Tony Fortunato from the technology firm. Today I want to talk to you a little bit about tool placement. Ensuring the proper tool position will save you countless hours, if not days, of troubleshooting. Here we go. We've got a client here on the left. We've got a server here on the right. we got a big old cloud in the middle. So what happens? The client sends data packet number one to the server. Everything's great. And then we get data packet number two, which has a one millisecond delta time. And then bang, data packet three never quite makes it. Who knows why? Who cares? It just never makes it to the server. So now the client waits because he's waiting for an acknowledgement at some point. Well, it's not happening. So he resends. 200 milliseconds later, he'll resend data three and it gets to the server. So now you can see here on the server side, we have the delta times. It was one millisecond there. We'll assume the network had no latency, which is literally impossible, but we're just trying to illustrate a point here. Then we had a 19 millisecond delta, which never got through, and then a 200. So in this case, it'd be 219 millisecond delta there. And then finally, the server sends back an acknowledgement. Well, the point here is from the client side, you can clearly see there was a retransmission with two of these data three packets. But when you look at it from the server side, there was no retransmission because he received packet one, two, big delay, and then three. As far as the server is concerned, there's 219 milliseconds of latency towards the client or the cloud. So this is incredibly important if you're using any kind of tools to measure retransmissions, your protocol analyzers, even your application uh, performance monitoring tools, uh, anything that will look for a retransmission or delay may be misleading you if you don't have the tool in the right spot. There you go. Hope that helps. Have a good day. Bye for now.